now let's see these two questions um, so they are about the sizes I mean uh, given the size of one matrix we are supposed to find the size of other and given the and we are in the second question we are supposed to find the size of both the matrices so the question is like this if a is a n by m matrix which means the size of a is n rows and m columns if a is an n by m matrix such that a b and b a are both defined then b is of size which means they are saying that uh, both a b and b a are defined so i'll i'll just write it here a b is defined as well as b a is defined it means that both are conformable for multiplication right and we know the rule for conformability of multiplications right so here a is of size n by m right if a b has to be possible i can definitely say that the number of columns here should be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix right so which means if this multiplication has to be possible definitely b should be having m rows the number of rows in b should be equal to number of columns in a right and the other one i don't know right it can be anything which which i cannot predict here right and the next one is here ba is also possible which means we already know that it is a n by m matrix right so if this multiplication has to be possible the number of rows in the second matrix should be equal to number of columns in the first matrix right so i don't know how how many rows can be here but then from this uh, from this fact that ba is possible i can guess that the number of columns in b is going to be n right which means these two should be equal and these two should be equal right therefore from the first fact that ab is possible i am able to guess that the number of rows in b should be m and from the second fact that ba is possible i am able to guess that the number of columns uh, in b is n therefore i can i can now say that b is of size m by n isn't it so if both b a and uh, a b are possible if a is n by m matrix then the size of b has to be m by n and it, it is the only possibility nothing else is possible right and next one is if a and b are two matrices such that a b is possible as well as a plus b is also possible they are saying that a b is possible along with that a plus b is also possible right so we know that uh, matrices are conformable for addition only when their sizes are same isn't it so therefore here the matrices since they are conformable for addition we can say that both the sizes are same so let us say both the sizes of a and b are p by q right just just assume that the sizes of a and b both of them are p by q now uh, therefore addition is possible since they are of same size right and now since the multiplication of a b is possible what can we say is a b the multiplication is possible right therefore if we assume that a is of size p by q and b is of size p by q this, they are multiplication conformable only when the number of columns in a is equal to number of rows in b right which means only when p equal to q therefore both are of size p by q i mean both are of same size that is what we got from this first uh, first fact and from the second fact what we get is you know a b are of uh, you know square matrices which in which number of rows is equal to number of columns therefore from these two facts we can say that a and b must be square matrices of same size right therefore we can say something like this for any n which means a and b are square matrices of same size right okay